hill for them. And when we got to the hotel, they were let down. 2,000 miles away from home, a track team competing in the Junior Olympics at Sac State was without a place to stay. Hotel reservations fell through, but a chance encounter may have saved their entire trip. CBS 13's Drew Bolea explains the hotel mishaps and talks to the man who stepped in to help. Rebecca Hamilton is running for her life. Anything that's holding me down, I just leave it all on the track and just run it out. The 18 year old is a leader on her Pine Bluff, Arkansas team, the young phenom athletes. They're competing in the Junior Olympics at Sac State. A lot of times our, our kids are told that they're not great, so we wanted to exercise that word phenomenal. So that's where the name of the team came from. Some of Ian's athletes, including Hamilton, have overcome difficult upbringings to get to this point. I changed my ways, people I hung with, my eating habit, I just changed everything. As the team continued to take steps forward, a stumble when they arrived in Sacramento. Being here was a big deal for them, and when we got to the hotel, they were let down. The first hotel said they couldn't accommodate the group after their room block was changed. Another hotel in Dixon had bugs. Psychologically, they felt defeated. Trying to come up with a plan and looking for a place to stay, the young phenom stopped at this McDonald's to use their Wi-Fi. And it was here that that chance encounter with a man who would open up his home happened. And I was at the right place at the right time. And this is the kitchen area. Dr. Carol Cooks runs a nonprofit for youth in Sacramento. I could not turn my back on a situation that needed help, and I was blessed to be able to provide. Did you put it down in the 200? Cooks learned of the team's predicament and agreed to house the 19 athletes and five adults. Uh, miracle. <laughs> the young phenoms are staying with Cooks through the weekend. They realize that a stranger can care, and people do care about them. It's just another hurdle for the Pine Bluff team, whose mindset is already ahead of the pack. All the people that invest in us, we can't let them down because of that. <laughs> What a great group. Well, some of the young phenoms have never been on an airplane before. Others had never even left the state. The Junior Olympics, by the way, continues through the weekend. And four-time Olympian uh, Jackie Joyner Kersey will be making a special guest appearance at the Games wow. tomorrow. So pretty exciting for all of these young athletes. My no goodness. Kidding.